Hey, what's up, fellow YouTubers, fellow Toy Nuts and Toy Collectors? This is Starstream 1988, and today I bring you a review on Unique Toys, third party Transformers, and this is the Savage Bull, aka Tantrum, from the Predacons set, or from Transformers, obviously, Generation 1. You know, there's a whole bunch of other people doing these. Uh, it's a pretty cool little set. Um, I already had seen a couple reviews, I believe, on Warhawk and. Um, I forget what the the rhino's called, but um, you know, I, I do definitely understand what some people saying. Uh, the, I, a lot of people saying that you get a little bit more quality, and I, I would have to agree. And and size too on the um, the the M M C ones, the the creation ones. Um, it seems that those are just a little bit better, um, and they're bigger too. So, I mean, I guess it's something to um, to kind of think about. I don't have one of those yet. Hopefully, I'll be getting them soon also as I went nuts and I have pre-ordered anything and everything that's Predator King this year. Um, all the third-party ones, which is, I believe, it's going to be three different sets. So, TFC is also going to have a set coming out soon. I believe theirs finishes last, though, because they haven't even come out with one yet. So, But, yeah, so back of the boxes, I always start. It's number three. And, no, I don't have number one or two yet. Uh, but I will eventually get those two. Um, side of the package there, there's Warhawk. And um, it talks about Tantrum's extra weapon. Front of the package, he's not in there because I took him out. And then the other side of the package there. But yes, yeah, so now that you've seen what the package looks like, there he is out of the box. Now normally inside the window he is in robot mode. Um, and I decided to do it this way because this is my least favorite mode of this toy actually. I don't think he's that impressing um, in terms of the bull. So um, I'm actually reopening this so I can get the sword out. Um, he does come with this kind of cool little comic book. And it comes in a little kind of Ziploc type bag. Um, I'll show you that real quick. Just in case if you never decide you're going to get this. It's pretty quick to show. So I'm going to show you the whole thing. <laughs> so we'll kind of do this. I know it's really a toy review. But just in case. It has some decent animation. Um, there we go. Uh, I'm assuming because it is a part three, obviously, you probably have to get the first two, I, I would assume. So, so there you go. Turn the page. And that's really it. It's just two pages, right? Yep, just two pages. And then basically, it's just kind of showing you how transformation is and whatever not. Um, it doesn't show you the next one either, but I believe the next one is actually... Um, I want to say it's the Razor Claw version of this toy is number four. And the last one, I believe... No, actually, no. Razor Claw will probably be the last one. And the next one will, should be um, the, the the Panther or whatever you want to call it. The Leopard. Um, I forgot his name, actually. But, um, yeah. So, um, let's kind of transform so you can check him out. Actually, let me show you some of his details. I, again, this the animals are not their strong suit on this particular line uh, for these unique toys. Um, this is pretty cool looking. Um, I do like it. I think it's different uh, how they've incorporated it as a kind of a backpack to the toy. Um, definitely missing some some sticker applications in terms of the face. I mean, he has, a, yes, a little bit of gold there. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I would actually add more things. I, I, I mean, personally. Um, the arms look okay like that. I mean, it looks like a shield or whatever now, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, kind of like armor. And then the way the legs peg is pretty cool. And I'll show you that. Um, yeah, I mean, turrets, cool, I guess. Uh, they do actually light up. Uh, so when you have them in pretty king mode, uh, that's something that you can do. Obviously, they're in the bottom here. And I can't really get to it. I might have to actually do it when, um, maybe we go. And that's his face there, as you can see. Yep. It is actually up. And there you go. There's his lights. So they look like, you know, they're firing turrets or whatever. So that's pretty cool. So let's actually just take this off. And it's really easy to peg. Just peg them right up there. I thought it was here. And I'm like looking at this. And I'm like, oh, there's the peg holders right there. Um, in terms of the, the foot, obviously that's what it would look like. Um... And I think I'll show you what it looks like in foot mode. You can shut those off for now. Um, and they do have some articulation there, as you can see. So if he's 
kind of like running type of thing or whatever. I, you know, you can make them do that, I guess. So, and this actually does move a little bit. So when he's in robot mode, they can kind of stand like this, and it just, you know, it's, it's, you know, it looks more natural, I guess. So that's pretty cool that they did that. So, but yeah. So to transform this guy is super, super simple. Let's bring these out. They do come out really easy. It's one thing that I don't like, I'll be honest. You know, for a 80 plus dollar toy, I believe it is, or 70, whatever it was, these come out really easy. And that's the, I think that's the, the reason why for for this long, and it's been years, um, that I've uh, been collecting toys, that I've stayed away from the third party stuff. I just feel that they're a little bit... Um, the plastic it just doesn't feel the same as the Hasbro or or the Takara stuff, um, so that's that's probably why why I've never been a huge fan. But again, I decided to do these guys because Pretty King is probably my favorite combiner of all time. Um, I like them all. I think all the combiners are really cool, but this this one in particular I, I like a lot. Um, so anyway, so you just kind of bring that bring those out like this, and we'll fix that after. And then uh, you can bring these down carefully. bring the toe <clears throat> then you would just kind of bring these forward like that I guess actually I can't remember now yeah it is like that then you just take him turn his head around there he is take these you can kind of fold them if you like it's pretty cool because they do turn they do have some pretty good articulation and then you just kind of bring the hand down like this if you so wish which is pretty nice so you, I mean you can leave them like this if you like or you can do that if you wish I mean it doesn't really matter but I, I guess obviously this is more the correct way to go about it so <clears throat> uh. and then you just yeah just bring these like this down hide them as best as you can and here and then these can't we can't really hide them but you can fold them as best as you can so they're kind of out of the way um, I guess that would be fine you can do that or this you know, wh whatever whatever way helps there you go in terms of his articulation, he does have knee movement, as you can see there. And then obviously his hands move, and he doesn't, he can't really do 360 all that well because of the shoulder pad, but I mean, if you had to, he can. Um, and then obviously he has in and out movement. So, <clears throat> but yeah, then uh, bring his weapon over. Fits in either hand, obviously. I'd be very careful there. A little delicate, it seems. As weapons go and you can put them in some funky stance if you can you know it's ready to attack he's a little little heavy but obviously you can there you go ah ready to destroy some Autobots so he is pretty cool I mean I, I do like it are they a little overpriced I think so um, will I finish it? Yeah, I'm <laughs> I kind of started. Uh, I'm not about to sell it and, and lose, you know, 20, 30 bucks on eBay or anything like that. So yeah, you know, I'll, I'll probably keep it and finish it. Um, I'm not in a rush to finish them though, and they don't seem to be selling out all that quick. So I'll, I'll probably, I probably will take my time. So um, and yeah, so obviously this would have been the foot part, and you would have connected it as such. So you, you want to probably peg them again like this first if I can get that as such and then you want to you know, close his legs and then um, take the bowl and bring it forward and obviously you would tuck the hands and you know I'm, you know you get you get the idea so that's what the foot would look like and obviously here's the peg it's a little a little tough to get to especially if you have huge fingers like me I'm having a really hard time getting it out so yep that's really really tough guys I can't get it in there I'm gonna have to use like a little 
something something to pry it but yeah so that's basically what it would look like without actually having hands <laughs> it looks like a minotaur but yeah so that's that and obviously like i said when when you have him in a robot mode it's pretty cool because he can have poses and stuff like that so that does work out really well actually so that's kind of cool i don't know if the other guy does that the um the creations one the mcc one so <clears throat> it is kind of tough plastic i mean it's not all that loose so i guess i can't complain about that but it just feels it feels really delicate i, I guess is the, the word that i'm looking for so it's, it's a little scary to to um to do to play with or whatever <clears throat> would have been cool if the arms would have kind of hidden it but it really it really can't i mean i guess that's the best you could do even the manual shows it um kind of sticking out the other way so i guess you could do that if you like but that's that's a whole lot of um kibble there a lot of a lot of foot so it might interfere but it's definitely meant to fold so you can do that too and just for comparison's sakes let's bring in uh, out the original i might have the wrong sword connected to this guy so i do apologize for those of you that are perfectionists um for this particular line i only have tantrum razor claw and um air raid no not air raid i'm sorry um bird brain no it's not bird brain it's whatever the bird is called i forgot his name but um the you know the warhawk version of, the, of this toy so i do have quite a few swords i actually have the full set of swords i can't even remember which sword i have so i'm gonna have to go back and um compare with the um with the bible of um transformers and stuff but but yeah so that's the sword that i gave it, it could be the wrong one but anyway so there you go in terms of size um i want to say that i think i read that the tfc version will be the closest in terms of height and uh the, the creations version the mcc one i was I, I'm, I'm calling it mcc because i forgot what it's called um something creations but um <clears throat> it might be almost as tall too but i think the tfc is going to be the tallest i think i think that's what i read somewhere but that's pretty cool so guys as always thank you so much for watching this review um if you've been thinking about getting this um i would wait maybe hopefully they'll do the box set like um like they did with um was it tfc yeah like tfc did with hercules and stuff like that so that kind of kind of can save you some cash so you can go about it that way but uh but yeah guys as always take care thank you for watching and i'll see you guys later peace